activation, you'll say assign as org default. Um, I've already got one assigned, so I'm not going to do it. But once you do that, it'll it'll do a couple of questions. Just click through um, and confirm, and we should be good. All right. Now that we've got knowledge all set up, we're going to have to go and enable community. So it's the point of this whole thing, right? So you're going to type communities in the quick find. You're going to come to community settings. And on the community settings page, you're going to see uh, the first time you do it, you'll just see something that says enable communities. So once you enable communities and click save, you will then see uh, these other settings here. So there's a couple of things that we want to change when you get to the community settings after you've enabled them. And the first thing we want to do is we want to allow using standard external profiles button. So that setting is right here. All right, and once you're good there, we can just save. And now you're going to need to set up a my domain. So again, type my domain up in the quick find. Um, you'll see a page here, but you will see uh, a place to type in a domain. Um, since this is a demo, you can put in, you know, anything. There's a little availability check button. Check the availability. Uh, if it's available, then you're good. When you do this in a, a UAT environment or in a production org, um, whatever you pick is going to be the domain for for the for the entire org. So you maybe want to you know you probably want to be pretty careful and you want to make sure that you're pretty specific to your company but still unique. All right. So, now that my domain is set up, let's go and do what we're here for. We're going to go back to communities again in the quick find. We're going to click on all communities. And you'll see we've got a couple of set up, but for our purposes, we're going to click on create new community. 